Rosie and the Book of the Dead. Written by Blaine Giapetta and drawn by Michael Ramstead. St. Imelani's Home for Girls. In the Black of Night. In Full Moon's Cradle. We light the lights. We set the table. Rosie lights a circle of candles around the table, adorned in a red hood. The veil is weak, she says. We must break the bonds. Permit us speak with those beyond. Rosie begins to draw a circle of salt around the table with five candles on it and five chairs. Depart the spirit realm to find the earthly goods you left behind, Rosie says. Rosie pulls out a watch from a jacket. She sets the jacket and the watch in the remaining chairs. Rosie begins chanting and is about to complete the ritual and then Rosie, what are you doing? Rosie is startled. She pulls down her head. Sorry, Sister Margaret. I'll keep it down. You were supposed to be in bed hours ago, Sister Margaret says. Aren't you a little old to be having a tea party? It's not a tea party. It's a seance, Rosie retorts. To commune with the dead. Rosie, you can't hold a seance, Sister Margaret says in exclamation. Why not? I did all my homework, Rosie explains. <sighs> it's not. This has to stop. Do you know what would happen if Sister Grace saw this? Sister Margaret explains. Sister Grace can't make it up the ladder. She's like a thousand years old, Rosie complains. Just... Clean this up, please, and get to bed, okay? Rosie sighs. Okay. We'll talk about this in the morning, Sister Margaret says, and she retreats down the ladder. Rosie begins to pack up and clean up. Or... So, Sister Margaret, thanks. Rosie pulls up the ladder and begins to finish the ritual. Another ten minutes won't hurt anyone, Rosie says and turns off the lights again. Right, Ned? Ned the spider nods in agreement. You're a bad influence, Rosie says with a smirk on her face. Okay, where were we? Rosie turns to the page in her spell book. First, a liter of blood brought to boil, Rosie reads. Rosie begins to pull fruit punch out of her backpack and pour it into the pot. Next, a handful of worms. Rosie pulls out a pack of gummy worms and pours it into the pot. It begins to boil. Add a spider's web. Rosie takes some webs from Ned's home and throws them in the pan. Tss, it begins to boil. A clove of garlic. Rosie pours much more than a clove of garlic into the pot. A pinch of jasmine, a dash of ginger, and a strand of hair. Boink! Rosie plucks one hair from her little head. Now, with all the ingredients, Rosie begins to chant. Observe the writing on the wall. Her magical potion brewing. The light switch begins to react. Even Ned is surprised. Ban and death. Heed the call. The candles burst angrily with red flames. The items begin to float 
and grow with a green, green essence. Ned scurries away from the window. The candles begin floating. The dolls are possessed with also the same green aura. Behold and tremble, Rosie yells into the night. Come forth and assemble. A green beam of energy bursts through the window. Rosie opens her eyes. Nothing has changed. It seems her spell didn't work. It should have worked, Rosie says. What did I do wrong? Rosie looks a little closer at the spell book. No, 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 no. Upon further inspection, Rosie finds. The pages were stuck together, she says. I finished the wrong spell. Rosie slams the book close. Ah, Rosie groans. Rosie lays down, disappointed with her book, and looks up at Ned. I guess we can try, we can always try again at the next full moon, Rosie says, hopefully. Ned crawls on to her reassuringly. Rosie packs up her spell book and the various other magical items away. Rosie gives one last glance at the table she used for her ritual, and then she closes the attic and goes downstairs. But before all is said and done with the night, inside the pot there is something. Something with green glowing eyes. To be continued. Ah!